Moin. Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's service video series for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a wide range of vehicle engines, simply, safely and quickly. These videos show the key working steps for workshop pros. They might take a few minutes, but it's worth staying with them. You'll more than make up this time later on. My name is Stefan Meyer, by the way, and I'll show you a different engine in each video. Okay, let's go inside. Today I've got a BMW power plant for you in the shape of the N55 engine. This is fitted in the BMW 3 and 5 series from model year 2009, among others. Today we are not looking at the timing belt for a change, but at the electric water pump instead. Continental has a standalone water pump in its range, the WPS 3025. The MS50 fitting kit is then also required. I've already prepared this engine in advance. You would also need to expose your engine correspondingly. In other words, remove the underbody protection panel and possibly other components as specified by the manufacturer. Then the cooling system has to be drained. Please bear the relevant safety and disposal regulations in mind, so be aware of the scout hazard and dispose of the coolant appropriately. The first step is to remove the coolant thermostat. For this, please first remove the small connector and then loosen the coolant hoses. Und dann die Kühlmittelschläuche lösen. Nachdem ihr die Schläuche gelöst habt, entfernt Once you've loosened the hoses, remove the larger connector at the water pump and release the clip behind it. Und löst die dahinterliegende Schelle. Als nächstes geht ihr bei Then remove the two bolts. These bolts can be reused afterwards. You can now remove the coolant thermostat together with the hose. Before you can now remove the coolant pump, please also release this clip here and then remove the three coolant pump bolts marked in blue. Please note that the bolts marked in blue must always be replaced by new ones in BMWs. When changing the new pump, please bear the new bolts in mind. We have special bolts for this purpose and these have to be changed every time. For these three bolts we use a torque of 10 Newton meters plus an additional turn through 90 degrees. You've now correctly fitted the coolant pump. The next step is to refit the coolant thermostat. Please note the marks on the hoses for fastening the clips when attaching the coolant hoses. The clip must be located centrally relative to this mark. Once you've attached all the hoses, the next step is to reassemble everything in reverse order. After that, refill the engine with coolant and bleed any air using the specified procedure. There are other points to note in addition to bleeding with negative pressure. You can find these on our website. Before sending this little beauty back on the road, you should carry out a thorough system test. 